vlog and happy Friday evening. Work week is done. I haven't filmed since we went to Capilano last week, but uh, what have I been up to, you ask? Well, I made a list. Tommy made pancakes, basically, for uh, pancake day. We made it the next day. I was up since 6 a.m. doing bank-related things on the East Coast. I don't know, 5 a.m. I woke up at 5 a.m. I got in touch with somebody at 6 a.m. So we had an early morning pancake breakfast and it was fantastic. I found some lantern art installation going on in front of the Vancouver Art Gallery, which is really pretty. They have like all of these lights set up in them and I was there the night that they actually lit them at that time. So that was pretty cool. I got a Lululemon mask that I'm pretty obsessed with because they were only $10 and I'm just so psyched that it looks super cool and I would really always also like a dark olive green one once those get put into our stores but they aren't on the website in the US or in Canada which is weird but like I can get them in person so I'm totally fine with that and we landed on a rover on Mars I decided to just watch the NASA thing yesterday for landing on Mars because that was pretty that was pretty sick and learned a lot about what's uh, what's going on with the Perseverance rover so that's that's, uh, that's another thing also, we have a bit of a kitchen wall situation. It's been closed, but like, I mean, you see the pictures I'm showing on the screen. Like, it, it, it was a bit insane that day, but uh, they closed the wall. It ain't pretty, but at least it's not a gaping hole in the wall anymore. Hello, vlog. It's Sunday afternoon and evening. Oh, it's definitely not afternoon. It's Sunday evening, it's about 8 o'clock p.m. I had acupuncture today for the first time in like well over a month. Today's needles hurt, let me tell you. I had a total of oh god four seven twenty one and it was it was a lot because I haven't had it in so long so the leg ones were really like but like feel better feel good also today I went to see some of the Vancouver mural festival installations that have existed for like a while in the city they're not new in like 2020 or 2021 some of them were put up in 2020 but a lot of them were from 2016 2017 time era so uh yeah that was amazing i'm putting that in their own video because that was just incredible and i like putting each of these kind of like fun one day experiences together but i did want to show the vlog um the um the mask that i've been wearing obviously is this blue one and because they're so nice other than what's weird is i don't know if anyone else sh like shares the sentiment but this top part also <laughs> the inside of this looks like the seam of like a competition suit for a swimmer it looks like a speedo like suit inside for like our uh, knee skins so if anyone <laughs> also picked up on that that's uh that's interesting to me that it actually looks just like this but that top seam kind of hits my nose weird but i feel like anything that has a nose bridge i see a lot of like medical masks are the same way they put they give a little like abrasion to your nose but like other than that it's fine so um i picked up obviously that one but then i went and got two more so we have three total in this house because tommy and i each only have one mask that is not a disposable one each so tommy uses this one that i got from work back in november and then i have my really dope maryland one so what I did was I went to go pick up Tommy a black one which we already know looks like this so I'm not gonna reopen it but I wanted to show the um, the other one I got because uh, we have two different Lululemons kind of in downtown we have one on Burrard, which is where I got these and where I got most of my pants. And then I've never been to the one in the Pacific Center Mall, but I went there today and, uh, or no, yesterday, and I picked up this one. And it looks very similar to the black because, I mean, it's a dark color, but it is a nice olive green or dark olive. So they're very dark and like similar in that way but i wanted kind of an olive green one to give a little bit of variety and i didn't want a really light color because i didn't want it to get like stained and kind of look really dirty very easily so i didn't go with any of the lighter pink kind of mauve taupe whatever you want to call it kind of colors and uh yeah this uh navy green will just navy green <laughs> olive green dark olive green will go really well with uh the collection so here we go that's all I got for today. I will probably see you tomorrow. This video is, is like pretty short, so it'll probably be maybe a two week vlog. I don't know. Last week's was only like a minute at the beginning and I've already edited it. So this is uh, <laughs> so it's a short one. Happy Monday evening to the vlog. The work week has begun and I feel like I've already had a very good like start. It's been a good 
first day because the phones I've been working on for so long finally got coordinated to have somebody on site fix all of that. It's just satisfying when you spend a long time coordinating a kind of project and suddenly all of the phones are in the right place on all the right desks with all the right names, boarding to all the right extensions. Like it's just a nice like we have other things going on in the city still until the 28th. And tomorrow I'm actually going to pick up my prize from Robson from the thing I won an award for. Did I mention that in this vlog yet? Wait. Anyway, okay, so I have my travel Instagram page, right? Which is a public page and I have my personal one that is not public. So I posted this photo on from Robson Street for like their Valentine's Day thing. It was the giant neon light love thing that kind of had those light bulbs that made it look like a vanity a bit. So I posted that and I noticed that it was part of some like raffle you could enter basically where it's like if you tag this and follow this, you know, all the, the things that people do for giveaways and I actually won something for it. They had multiple prizes. Somebody won five grand, it wasn't me, but I won an umbrella and a tote bag. So I get to go pick it up tomorrow Wednesday or Thursday because those are the days it's open. I'm really starting to appreciate how much like culture and beauty is in our city. Like all of that is just something I feel like I really need to start taking advantage of more because I live in a city and I won't live in a city forever. Hello vlog and welcome to Tuesday. I'm about to go move the last like two remaining things but I wanted to show this outfit because I'm pretty proud of it. Tomorrow's pink shirt day so for work we had to take a picture in a pink shirt. I don't own anything that's like really 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 intense pink i just own this really plain blush pink but i love it and it works they'll saturate it it's great um my over-the-top earrings that i'm obsessed with and love goes with this outfit so well so uh, we're going with that and then adidas because i need some sneakers while i'm doing the move right left. we're moving out this is the only like office space i ever had my desk was over here every time i did a new thing so yeah this is crazy I want pictures in this place. <laughs> Hello vlog, so many fun and exciting things going on this week, even though the other murals and stuff happened in the other, I put them in their own video, I decided just I'm gonna sneak these little uh, clips from the smile and from the other thing that I saw on Mute and Davy Street. I went today to see some of those. They were so cool. I mean, how dope was that, right? I mean, I know I didn't really prompt it, but like, just one more time, roll back, roll back. Isn't it just stunning how beautiful are these videos? Honestly, it's just so cool that there's so much culture here. I know I did a little bit of a discussion about that yesterday with how pretty everything has been and how I just think that the city is just coming to life. Or at least maybe I'm just noticing it more now that there's I want to be out and doing things more in a safe way, but it's just so cool that the city is really just pulling out all the stops right now to get people just spark some kind of joy, make us, you know, boost morale, do whatever we can in this really challenging time, and it's it's working. Uh, I'm uh, feeling, feeling good. Hello vlog, it is Wednesday, and I am going to pick up the gift thing that I mentioned probably like three days ago that I won for that photo that I took on Robson. So, lunch walk, getting that, got a couple of meetings left. I had a great course this morning, had a lot of fun, learned a lot, contributed a lot. I'm just, it just always makes me feel so good after I come out of it, because I'm just like, I got to apply my master's degree knowledge, shared it 
learned a lot from other people, was in a great collaborative group. It was just, it's fun, you know? Hello vlog. I'm going to end this video very shortly, but I'm gonna show, because I picked up the things that I won, won. There's an umbrella that I'm not gonna open inside because I just, I, I'm not gonna do that. But it has like the Robson logo on it, so I can, this isn't going well, but they, it has the Robson logo on it. <laughs> I've never had an umbrella that's had like this kind of stick and handle, so very fun. The only other thing I got was a tote bag, which I mean, I own, this is exactly what I expected basically. So this, it has both in English and French. Tommy said it very well. I'm not gonna attempt the French. It says it's gonna be okay, so. And inside, they put in a little cute extra chocolate. And they gave more of these. Oh, it's all the different kinds. So I only had the one um, You Are So Loved from a distance, but they gave the You Are Essential to Me and Free Air Hugs and Kisses. That's cute. So yeah, I got my stuff now. Uh, that's basically it. This video is probably going to be a little bit longer. It's not going to be a full two weeks, but hey, we, uh, we got a lot of good stuff in this one, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.